What do you want to tell your wife, but it would ruin everything? My wife is a talker during movies and TV shows. I really don't like watching them with her. She brings a substantial level of stress into my life. So much so that I fully expect to die early from it. Nice try you, RN 7889's wife. My wife's cooking is terrible. And that's fine. Mine would be worse. No gourmet cooking round here. When we were going at it in her office, we didn't stop because I thought I saw a security guard. We stopped because her butt smelled. She constantly complains about her mom never letting anyone else get a word in, but also won't let anyone else get a word in. It's gotten so bad I can't even finish a sentence. There are actually snakes in our backyard, but if she knew, we'd have to sell the house. Edit. Love the awards, thank you all. I swear I will tell her, if and when, we sell the house. Not wife but gf. If you ask me what's wrong and I tell you money is real tight as work has been slow the past couple of months and that I'm really stressed out about tuition coming up, don't immediately start complaining about how you have less money and start a fight about me making you feel bad for telling you how I fucking feel you asked. Sorry Reddit, just needed to vent. I wouldn't say ruin everything, but I'm usually the one to cook because I really love cooking it's a thing I do to help with stress. I've been working a lot recently and she offered to cook while I really appreciate it. She's not a very good cook I need to find a way to start cooking again without hurting her feelings. That I know deep down she isn't attracted to me. Loves me yes but definitely not attracted to me. I'm slowly growing old waiting for you to order food online. Stop going through my Reddit comment history. That year we spent a part because our jobs was a lot easier than I expected. Breath of fresh air actually. Edit. Already commented but this is still on my mind. Your depression is harder on me than you realize. My dad's most useful piece of relationship advice to me is. A relationship only makes sense if life is easier with them than without. It's become my number one rule of thumb when dating, and it's always steered me correctly. It's helped me leave relationships where I did 95% of the work and were unfair to me. Just food for thought. There was a massive spider right outside the back door the other day. No idea where it went. At the end the only thing I hated more than the train wreck you became was that I was a passenger right up to the end. This separation is going easier for me because I have been mentally checked out for two years. No, we don't need this for the house. Edit. Wow. 2k upvotes. I thought I was the lone sufferer in this part of marriage 3k now. Holy cheeseballs Batman. Slitte. It was my fiancé and it did ruin everything. We both were going through waves of depression and her paranoia was getting especially bad. I finally told her that I needed some time to myself to recharge. She took her own life a few days later and I found her. Edit. To clarify a few things on this. My fiancé and I did not break up. She was just smothering me with her paranoia and I was doing the best I could to help her. But with my job and stresses, it was very consuming so I felt I did not have any me time to recharge my own batteries. We were living together for the past five years. We had a wedding date picked out for February next year which would have been our 10-year anniversary. My brain knows this is not my fault, but it is going to take some time for my heart to be convinced of it. And yes, I am in therapy for this as well. So far it has been helping a lot. Nice try wife. Already told her and ruined everything thanks alcohol. I've started making drugs in an RV with an old student of mine. It looks like it will be really profitable, but I don't think she'd take it well. It wouldn't ruin everything, but it would crush her emotionally if I told her she doesn't try hard enough at so many different things. She just doesn't apply herself or try and achieve anything. But yet she complains about so many things she could easily do if she just tried. Everyone walks on eggshells around the house because when you're having a bad day it seems like you go out of your way to ensure we all are as well. I was expecting things like, I hate it when you listen to music with everything you do or something like that then I come on and read these comments and now I am all depressed. I am giving my wife a big hug when I see her. These are so sad. Yeah, 
I really feel for the guy whose wife puts peanut butter on hot dogs. The other guys have legit excuses to get divorced. The PB and HD guy is stuck in that relationship forever. I find her a disgusting human being who speaks to our children like they're worthless, and shouts far too often at me and then. At this point I'm just doing what I can to give the children a semblance of a decent home, despite the lack of money and a stable mother. I'm tired. I'm actually three raccoons in a trench coat. I know you cheated. And I don't care. I don't want to be married to you. But you're a great mother to our daughter and you're a good friend.